I think you're going to see people who are completely committed the way that that, that Cole is. Um, and again, you're not just facing one guy, you're facing the entire army. Um, and, 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 and their training is sort of equally as sophisticated and uh, intense. Look, I'm not going to give too much away about what has happened with him, but I think, um, yes, yeah, something, some, something definitely went down. And I think, um, I think what's important to sort of take away is he was a ghost. So he's got the same training, the same capabilities. I think what's different is his mindset and his mission. He's got a different code. As far as his army, the Army of Wolves, as far as these guys are concerned, there's no length that they won't go to to complete their mission. They do not have sort of the same moral hindrance as the ghosts do. Um, I think ultimately, potentially that can make them more dangerous and more lethal. So look, I think as far as the playing of him, you know, for me it's really important that although he may be the antagonist or the villain in the game, it's really important, I think, to both the makers of the game and to me in terms of playing him, to make him a person who absolutely believes fundamentally in what he's doing and believes that what he's fighting for is right and it's just, I think, just the means in which he fights might sort of rub people the wrong way, but that's the idea. The only test of a man's worth is battle. I fell in love with the, the, the mocap process. I mean, at first, it's definitely a little bit off-putting that everybody's got all those dots on their face and those weird suits, and um, but that goes away pretty quick, especially with the level of people that they have working on these games, how seriously they took it and the level of passion that exists in that room. I think for me, um, one of the things that I appreciated the most was, you know, these are all Special Forces guys, and I think anytime you play anybody who, who's had military experience, let alone a Special Forces soldier, it's an enormous responsibility and honor. And, you know, Ubisoft had real Special Forces the soldiers on set every moment and they had complete sort of free reign to stop something if they didn't think something was real to make sure all of the movements all the choreography all of the weapons and all the way people were speaking the way people were holding themselves sort of resonated with them they felt that that was authentic and truthful and for me that's kind of everything for me I'm so appreciative of that and was so honored to kind of work alongside those guys and I made a, a I made a few new real real, real good friends which was uh, which was great I love to train, I love to work on this stuff, I love to get better, I mean that's sort of the the name of the game. There's no way you can train too much, um, so that was a real thrill for me. I think, um, you know, just in this sort of process of how you do mocap, you know, you're in a room with hundreds of cameras everywhere, so all angles are being covered at once. You're not just sort of doing coverage, you're not shooting your side, then my side, and putting the story together, you've got to get perfect takes. So you could do a 10, 15 minute scene, but it's got to be perfect, there can't be any flaws, if there's any flaws you got to start over, because you're shooting every everything at once. So that means there's an enormous amount of rehearsal, um, there's an enormous amount of pressure on each take because uh, you could be seven minutes into the scene and if there's a mistake, you gotta go back to the beginning. The take is completely unusable. And when you have six, seven people in a scene, you know, there's a lot of people that you know, have to get it right, especially when you incorporate the action element as well. I dig that. I dig, uh, I dig the challenge of that. I dig the pressure of that. I would love it if more movies and TV were shot like that. I love that part of the process. Sometimes in movies and TV, they choreograph a one-take fight scene, and there's sort of like these legendary scenes. Uh, you know, when you think about the one-take in in Goodfellas, when um, they pull up at the Copa and it follows them downstairs to the kitchen and into the uh, and into the actual club, and then watching uh, Henny Youngman. You know, that's this sort of iconic shot. And to to, 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 to complete that takes an enormous amount of cohesion and sophistication and you gotta get it perfect. If there's one thing wrong, it just doesn't work. You never cut away. Um, that's how everything on this is shot. I think that there's nothing that these guys haven't really thought of. Uh, I think that this, uh, this Ubisoft team is enormously passionate about this game and um, they care deeply about the game, they care deeply about the people that play the game. And I think that there's sort of an equal commitment to both the gameplay and to the story element of it. There was no stone left unturned. They really want to get it right on, on, in all aspects and, 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 and hopefully they did. I think, I think people are going to really dig it. The wolf knows when a predator nears.